Hey guys, Sergeant Mario 101 here. Welcome back to more Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we got the last treasure in the perplexing pool, and we explored the citadel of uh, spiders. In this episode, we are going to uh, fight the boss of the citadel of spiders because we made it to the end. But before I do that, I wanted to take the white Pikmin out for something really quick. Right up here. There's a treasure in the ground. That was what that, uh, white candy pop was for, uh, in the last sub-level, in the last episode. Look at him go. Now, what is this character going to be called? Regal Diamond. <laughs> Hoping it'd be something better, but okay. Mm, I actually don't mind having a yellow fall because we're gonna be yellows for what's coming up next. Should I have 30 yells? I have an odd number. Here's that's how many I had. Anyway. Unfortunately, I can't look up, but a little closer and mm. beady long legs. Ugh. You, you tortured me back in the first game. Gonna... Time for some little payback because killing you once isn't enough. I believe his legs are uh, smaller in this game. I'm not sure. I think they are. Just keep the pigment away from his legs. Uh, let me see how well a potion works. Try to stay in the middle. He's almost down. Look, he's crumbling. Screw you, beady long legs! Unlocks an extra mode that's called challenge mode. Which I think is basically you just go through dungeons and. I don't know, I really don't play challenge mode all that much. I'll have to play it and see. Maybe I'll make that like bonus content after this let's play is done. Maybe. I'm not gonna give you any promises though. Has its own fanfare. The key. actually something pretty interesting if you get past it all. Anyway, let's get out of here. Mm. Cave complete. 
First cave of the perplexing pool is finished. idea what pigment we're gonna need for the next dungeon, but the next dungeon that we're going to isn't really a tough dungeon, if I remember correctly. But just to be safe, I'll ha bring out um, an even amount of all the pigment. So, yep, get it back, get back in there, whiteies. Why did I go this way? Ah, damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go the completely other way. Because, god damn it, this water has not been, you know, drained. Oh well, there'll be at least more grass I can. Uh, actually, wait, oh, there's got these stones over here. If I can get pigment up there. You guys can go suck on that. Do whatever you want to do. Do at it, whatever. You, though, you're a pain. You just die, go to hell. You, too. Stop moving! Break it down! Nice. Can I get over here? Can I like activate the cutscene? No. Alrighty, I'm gonna finish. Come on, guys, come on. Aww. They ran out of gas. Guys, almost done. Boy, that's Uh, uh, uh. 
check if that place was actually correct if I was right, shower room. Yeah, shower room. Alright guys, come on. Really, I mean, how does banging your head with a flower break this? And finally. Now let's do this. I think there won't be idiots in falling water. Ooh. There's nothing we need. Anyway, last cave we have not discovered yet. Or we've just now discovered. Really now? Yeah, definitely, with these big noses we have. Anyway, this place... Glutton's Kitchen. Only has electrical hazards, okay. Well, the day's almost over. We, the day's almost over. We better get it now before it's too late. my guard down though. Oh, that? Wait. She works. No you don't. Oh go. No, no you don't. Yes, I care about you that much, Red. That new enemy over there, that's a bread bug, and I thought there were crawmats over here for a second. What these things do is that they take, they look for treasures and uh, pellets and pretty much anything else they can carry, and they bring it back to these whole things here. And, oh, 
in order to get that stuff back, you had to kill the bread box, which is really kind of long because you, you can't uh, swarm at them. You gotta throw the pigment on top of them. Which is kind of a problem with me because these weak controls. That's the only problem I kind of have with these weak controls is throwing pigment at a specific spot. Shut up! Pikmin do a lot of damage. Goddamn, it's not See, it's carrying back the enemy corpse. Um, Pikmin can, I guess, like, push up uh, stuff like they can struggle. Like a bread bug and a Pikmin will carry something. But if the bread bug can, I guess, overpower it and it brings it back to its little base thing, it'll, the Pikmin will die. From getting stuck in there. Yeah, but if, you, but if you can, uh, but if the pigment can overpower the bread bug then, and it hits your little base thing over there with the ship, it'll take a lot of damage. that grassy field we saw before, like, what was that, the Frontier Cabin, I think? I think it was, yeah. Like, some of these just dungeon designs are just weird. Just gotta remember, you're underground. Happiness emblem. Start becoming a pain. Yep. Case in point. New enemies. New enemy. The puffy blowhog. It was from the first Pikmin. I actually mentioned it a little 
earlier in this LP when I was talking about withering blowhogs. These things, I believe, have like a... They blow out wind in a different way than the withering blowhogs do. I think from like a farther angle, but like the withering blowhog, I think like shoots out wind at like a more wider angle or something like that. Pikmin rape, come on, Pikmin rape. Maybe. Oh, great. See, that's what the brag bot does right there. It drags stuff back, like I said before, even treasure. Hey, let's overpower him. See, it takes a ton of damage. I believe Bird Bark, yeah, that's the same family as the dwarf uh, Bulborbs, which aren't part of the, what is it, Scrub Dog family or something? Grub Dog, I think. Anyway, guys, help me carry this back. of destiny. Nice name. And, I guess that's it. Such a big room. I'll just wait for them to get that back, then I'll leave. I'm not gonna bother with these adenoid beetles. I think that's what they're called. Forget about the eggs. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Okay, 23 minutes, maybe I'll have one more. <laughs> Great! Uh, spotty bull bears. Better be prepared. Just waiting for it. Pikmin here, some fatty Pikmin, come on. Ugh. I killed your babies, what are you gonna do about that, huh? Huh? Take that. Huh? How do you like that? Huh? Done.
Canning larva. Screw you. Die, die, die. I think there might be another spotty bull bear. I think where they have purples for rest. Wow, Kenny Papa is ready for us to make purples. I have a very bad gun, and there's a trap ready to show me. Either an armored cannon, beetle larva, or a spotty bull bear. I can just sense it. <laughs> just die. I hate you. Wow, I'm really using my purple potions a lot now. I only have four. Alright, 30 minutes is gonna have to be 
the last sub level. Whoa! Actually, really love the power of the, the, the voice, but um, there's the boss right there, actually. But unfortunately, we'll have to uh, take care of him in the next episode. Okay, so next time on Pikmin 2, we are going to take down the uh, boss of Clendon's Kitchen, even though we really did not seem that threatening. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys then. I don't know. I will get it from you. But not till next time.